Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be painting my favourite French Hussar regiment and that is the 7th Hussars. So I hope you enjoy. What it is about them that I like is I love green uniforms and I love red. So the two together, especially with that sort of gold coloration, well, just does it for me. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me which regiment you like best. Anyway, so as with the other Hussars, and other horses. I start off with chocolate brown watered down using flow improver and matte medium. So with the minch I spray painted them black first and then you did a centerful highlight using just white. It was a, I think it's called bone white, no it wasn't, it's dead white from game colour. And then put the brown over the top of that. Don't worry too much at this stage about details, just cover the horses. For the tunics and the trousers we use model colour uh, German cam bright green and system free crimson red so red for the trousers and then the green for their tunic and the jacket again can't remember the name the actual name for the Hazar jacket it begins with P Pelis Pelisse Pelisse some, uh, something along those lines please correct me in the comments below and then hopefully I will remember it but take your time and only do the areas that need it at this stage. Don't cover any area that doesn't need to be painted. Yeah, what a flamboyant uniform. <laughs> so for the carbines, just use game colour, leather brown or another light brown. I would say don't go dark, always go lighter with your miniatures when they're this scale. Then the metalwork game color silver so you're going to use that on the swords the scabbards and the stirrup irons um, and anywhere else that you can see on the miniature that needs a little bit of silvery metal now uh, the flesh i use tamiya color flat flesh and i found it does nicely you just need to use a little bit of matte medium uh, just so it doesn't dry out Then all we're going to do is give them a dark brown wash, which I make out of black and brown, and then just make turn it into a wash. Now we go over all the black areas, so the cuffs and the collar on the jacket, the reins, uh, the cartouche box, anything that you can see that's black or needs to be black. And I just use game color black for this. So yeah, I've just noticed that there's a new film called Napoleon from Ridley Scott coming out. Um, let me know if below what your thoughts are. Yeah, have you seen the advert? I'm probably going to do a uh, one of those reviews of the advert itself, just because when I saw it, there are a few things where I'm kind of like, hmm, I'm not sure if that's quite accurate. <laughs> quite a few things, actually. But I'm glad he's making it, because I think it never hurts to have more information uh, and more films about periods if it gets more people interested. So now we're just going back over the red areas of the uniform just to pick them out and do your do our highlights. Uh, next we've got the, the belt sash, so on most of them they do have a two-tone belt around their waist and so for these chaps it's red and yellow and so we use System 3 um, as the brand and it's their crimson and their yellow, I think it's called process yellow. So just take your time, use a nice fine detail brush. So for the headdress of the Busby um, there is some red on there. So just pick that out in red, and then I did the, the pom-pom on the front trooper with red as well. Next it's time to go over all of the yellow on the miniature. So all of their cords, sashes, anything that requires yellow. Uh, and that's the fun time so use your ultra fine detail brush and which would in my case be a fine detail brush which has lost almost all of its uh, 
hairs and it's down to about six hairs left and that gives me what I need to be able to do very very fine detail but just take your time don't rush it uh, the worst thing is once you start to get towards the end is to rush and splat paint where you don't want it so do not rush at all just take your time then we have the white belts and the straps and uh, when I say straps I'm talking about the, uh, the belts that run down to hold the scabbard in place rather than his cross belt again we use game color uh, dead white for this uh, make sure that your brush is damp but don't, you don't want it to be wet and it just needs to be damp uh, if it's wet and the paint runs it's going to be awful so again just be careful now my way of doing the hooves for my horses is to use bone white from game color now with horses they have different colour hooves, you've got some which are black, some which are brown, um, all sorts of colours, greys. I use this just so it gives them a little bit of a, breaks them up a little bit, that's the only reason. Plus it's not wrong, there are horses that are like this, so that's why I do it. Then we highlight the horse's fur, so I use leather brown and then basically do wet blending although it's not really blending because the base coat is already dry um, but if you kind of use the same technique that you would with wet blending and um, that's what I'm doing here just putting it over the high areas and I found it works very nicely but you could dry brush um, use whichever method works for you Then for the manes and the tails we use bone white again, same as we did for the hooves, but this time we are just dry brushing over the over the areas, just to pick out the uh, the highlights. And then we've got all of our brass uh, brass work. Yep, so the cap badges and insignia uh, across the miniature. And once you get to this stage, you, you always know you're, you've reached the end. Um, and it just it's the final little pieces that bring the miniature to life. So I always love doing the brass work. And seeing as there's only very few little bits that I actually need doing, um, it's one of the fastest overall. But I never surprise myself by how many bits I miss and have to come back to do. But yeah, really happy with these. Uh, they are very fun miniatures to paint up. And yeah, I can't wait to get more of them on the table. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial so far. And please like, uh, sorry, please like, <laughs> please do like, uh, but please leave any uh, comments below. If there's any regiments in particular you'd like to see me paint up next, yeah, let me know and I'll do that. But anyway, here we go with our finished products. I am very happy with the way they've turned out, I'll be honest. And I find that yellow on green really looks smart, so... Yeah, great minis. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Uh, that way you won't miss any future releases. But yeah, as I said, uh, leave comments below of anything you'd like to see me do next. See you next time.